Hey, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing this good Sunday? Well, baby, if your name is Shine, you have just accidentally exposed Diddy, Jay-Z, and even Kanye for what is going on, y'all. Remember I did a live a while back about, like, what happened in Belize? What's going on in Belize? And all y'all were like, Tita, 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 Tita. Ain't nothing going on in Belize. Well, apparently, the feds might not think the same way. Y'all, what am I talking about? If you guys don't know, Shine was exposed by Belize Channel 7 News. Shout out to them for basically saying that it wasn't him that shot Diddy and ada, ada, ada. So, you know, I had to go down a rabbit hole. I want to give a special shout out to my girl, Valerie Renee, to my girl, Sherry Contour, for helping me uh, do all of this research. But baby, let's get into this. Also, Sandra, thank you so much for helping me. Let's actually get into this, all right? Because this actually gets deep. And it's starting to get a little scary. And it makes me think, right? Everybody's like, when's Diddy going to be arrested? When Diddy's going to be arrested, right? I was told it was 30 days. I still stand behind that. But it makes it make sense why they are taking so much time. Because this goes bigger than this uh, Diddy. This threatens to pull in Jay-Z, Kanye West, Jay Prince, and a whole bunch of other people. Now, baby, listen. Before we get into this, baby, it's YouTube. Read the disclaimer. This is for entertainment purposes. I hope I am entertaining you. Also, Diddy does maintain his innocence. He has not been officially charged with any crimes. He has been accused of many disgusting, vulgar, disgraceful things in civil court, as well as um, lawsuits. And he maintains it wasn't him. He's fighting for him, his country, his love, all that stuff. He says his son Christian is... Um, innocent too. And Misa, you know, she's just fighting for her lion cubs, even though the lion cubs, if the rumors can be believed, need to stop eating the antelope's babies. Anyway, y'all, that's a little our planet earth, uh, humor. I was watching that before I went live because I finally finished doing my research. Anyway, y'all know I got a PowerPoint presentation. Can y'all also hit this like button? If you're watching this on playback, you know, I'm trying to grow with no further ado. Let's get into this. But baby, it first started off with the part of Shine's interview on Channel 7 Belize that nobody saw. Baby, we got the director's cut and the reporters were giving it to him. And let me just give you cliff notes on what you're going to see. One, Diddy has long been rumored to have a place in Belize. I don't think that's a rumor. I think that's true. Diddy has also been long been rumored to be moving weight through Belize, maybe moving people through Belize. The federal government is looking at its flight logs. They're looking at everybody's flight logs. Interestingly enough, right? Sorry, guys. It, that's where the magic happens. Interestingly enough, okay, um, Jay-Z has, um, uh, uh, has not been accused of anything by any private individuals. But interestingly enough, I do remember when they were on the hunt when they were on the hunt for, um, what is it, Diddy's, uh, uh, when they were, sorry, when they were on the hunt for Diddy's mess, interestingly enough, they, the feds were showing Jay-Z's planes flight logs, which I thought was interesting because I was like, how did Jay-Z get into this? Why Diddy's plane was landing in Antigua and the feds were running down there, but Diddy wasn't on the plane. Diddy sent his private family plane with none of his family down to Antigua, said they were on there, but nobody was on there. But Diddy's children were either in LA being raided or they were in Florida getting on another private flight, which everybody said what, who was on the plane that landed in Antigua? Now, it's unclear at this point whether he was forced to land or whether that was the original thing. But at the end of the day, that's what's going on, right? Um, so let me just get into this a little bit more. But around that time, they also, out the blue, was like, yeah, and Jay-Z's plane is leaving, blah, 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 and it's heading back to New York. And we were like, wait, what is going on? And then everybody forgot that flight. Y'all, I did some research with Valerie, Sherry, and of course, Sandra's help. And baby, 
I think we kind of figured something out. And I believe that the reason why this indictment is taking so long, because once the grand jury is assembled, people have to testify. Now, once people are done testifying, the U.S. attorneys still have to write up the indictment. And you know how the U.S. attorneys are. Baby, they only believe in one bite of the apple. This isn't the feds who Diddy is rumored to have been working for. This is Department of Homeland Security Investigations, baby. They took down El Chapo. They took down Jeffrey Epilator. They took down Harvey Weinstein. Baby, when they get you in their sights, they believe in the one bite of the apple rule. They don't bob again. They get you in their sights. They grab you. They make sure that everything is so well written with so much evidence that, baby, they have a 95% conviction rate. Okay, so that seems to be what's taking so long. They have to write this mess up. But the more people they talk to with interviewing, the bigger and bigger and bigger this place gets. How does this relate to Shine? Because, y'all, let me just play this, the director's cut of what really happened in that interview when the reporters were getting into him. Then I'm going to play you a little bit of Shine's Drink Champs interview where he basically says that Diddy has been paying him off, right? Why? People say because Diddy got stuff moving in and out of Belize and because Shine is an opposition leader and Diddy's trying to finance him to be prime minister because he wants to make sure everybody looks the other way. How's Jay-Z involved? Jay-Z is heavily involved with Diddy with money and um, businesses. How's Kanye involved? Well, listen, they tried to get Kanye involved, but you know, yay, they tell him to go left. He might be going right. He might be, you tell him to go high. He up there on the, in the ground playing with lizards. Yay, just do what he want to do, right? So you can't really get him on board. But anyway, y'all, let's get into this. Let me play you a little bit of this, and then I'm going to tell you the rest of the theory and connect the dots for you. But it's very, very important that you guys go. I can't realize... Um, uh, uh, Tonight, we're revisiting that global exclusive that UDP... So the exclusive that Ch Channel 7 Belize News did, they came back and they said, baby, we're giving you the director's cut. This you didn't see on every any other channel because they just released this. This is what they're actually letting you hear with the reporters at Shine. And there's some really good juice in this. Listen to this. P leader Shine Barrow gave the Belizean press yesterday when he spoke about the mounting allegations against his one-time mentor, Sean P. Diddy Combs. As Jules Vasquez tells us, it's, it almost didn't happen. How do you feel viewing all that's unfolding with your one-time Northern star and your role model, Sean P. Diddy Combs? So the reporter already starts playing him. How do you feel about everything that's unfolding with your one time Northern Star and Sean and 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 uh, who is it? Benefactor, Sean Diddy Combs. That's Island Shade, your Northern Star. But it gets worse. Hold on. Well, uh, I didn't call the leader of the opposition briefing for that. I, I could I answer. I could, you can't I, run from the darkness in the night. No, no, no. I he said you can't run from the darkness in the night because if you guys don't know, the opposition was sick of, let me just give y'all a little background. The opposition was sick of Shine. They felt like Shine was using Diddy's money to buy off things to make people look the other way. They literally made a special rule, especially for Diddy's little pet, that says you cannot hold any office, any office at all in Belize if you have been convicted of a crime anywhere in the world. Yes, baby, they made a rule just to get Diddy's little puppet out of there. And everybody knows he's Diddy's little puppet. Now ask yourself, why would Diddy need a puppet at the upper echelons of a country that he is alleged to be moving weight, moving more than weight and doing whatever? Again, remember when Jonathan Adi and a couple of other people said that Diddy moves all this stuff in his private plane, and he also puts stuff in Chirac bottles and this and that. But the fact that he uses and moves stuff in his private plane, the fact that Belize, at one time, Diddy had his fingers all in there, right? Diddy had his fingers in there. The people of Belize knew that. And it looks like the opposition was like, nah, bruh, this stops today. But let me get back into this, okay? Just give me all a little context. Northern Star and your role model, 
Sean P. Diddy Combs? Well, uh, I didn't call the leader of the opposition briefing for that. I, I could I answer. I could you can't run from the darkness in the night. No, no, no. I'm not interested in discussing no, 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 no. Um, what is happening in North America. But 30 minutes later, at the end of a lengthy press briefing, Shine Barrow did agree to speak for the first time in many years on the events in that Manhattan nightclub that changed his life. It opened. Now, they're going to keep shading him. This is only a few minutes, but baby, I just got to say, Belize people are funny. I love the shade the reporter's throwing at Shine and basically calling him out on his BS. Everybody knows what it is between you and Diddy, and everybody knows why Diddy is giving millions to your campaign fund and basically trying to buy off the people of Belize. At least that's what the Belize streets are saying. Let's keep going. It opens wounds um, when you hear... Um, you know, the victim saying that it was Diddy that shot her. That is what is the most remarkable. And that is what stands out to me the most because, you know, I've done my best to put it behind me and to move forward. Uh, and so, um, but it certainly reopens the wounds that I've been saying this all along. Hold on, let's Everyone go on. knew all along that I was the fall guy. But Barra would go no further than that. Okay, so they're giving their director's cut, and you go and hear some more stuff, all right? Um, also, thank you so much for Heather Marie Houston. You guys, can y'all hit the like button while y'all listening to this? Come on. I did the digging, and I have another PowerPoint presentation after this. This isn't all that I'm showing y'all. Can y'all give me a like for my hard work? Damn. And refuse to join the chorus of accusers. I'm not going back on that. I'm not about to point the finger, no, I'm not going to get into that. Well, others are doing it, sir. I'm just saying that I maintain my innocence all this time. I said I was defending myself. I didn't get into who did what. Um, but the victim is telling you who did what. And another, I, I understand that there are other witnesses. Is she, is she accurate, sir? I'm not going to get into that. Hold on, but more. for Barrow, the undoing and exposure of his one-time mentor and current financier seems therapeutic. Do you hear that? The people of Belize know that his one-time men mentor and current financier. Now, before we go on into this, y'all hit the like button. Second of all, ask yourselves this, and this is something we really need to know. Diddy is notoriously cheap. He's cheap. He don't pay his artists according to the artists. He don't pay his producers according to Little Rod. Diddy was bragging to Little Rod. Little Rod said he got the evidence of, ha-ha, we get everything for free. If you guys don't know, all these bags and watches and clothes that people be spending the last penny so they can dress, the celebrities don't pay like that, pay for that. They get it for free so you can wear it. And, like, you know, you can spend the money on it. Why they get it free. They're nothing but high thing influencers. But Diddy is notoriously cheap. As much as he loves a lavish lifestyle, he gets a lot of gifts, promotion, and he don't like paying anyone. He don't like giving up money. He's notoriously cheap. So ask yourself, why was he investing millions into Shine? Why was he investing millions into the people of Belize? Where did his love for Belize come from? I got the tweets from Shine in 2012 when he was cursing Diddy out. So it's not like him and D Shine were brothers. Shine was mad at Diddy at one point. I got all the tweets. I'll read them in a second. Ask yourself where this love for the Belize people came. It's almost as if, now far be it for me to suggest that Diddy is a criminal lord that launders money for the cartel. I would never suggest that. But it does make you wonder, what were you getting out of buying a small island nation's allegiance? What were you getting out of it by buying half of the parliament? What were you getting out of it by literally trying to finance the next prime minister? What are you getting out of it? Because then he don't do anything unless he gets out of something. Side note, I do also want to say this. Um, and I have pictures to, so we can discuss. This is just me being messy. Do you think that Shine was the first Fonsworth Bentley because he not bad to look at? And you know Diddy like him young and wild. And baby, was somebody on their knees in Belize? And that's all I'm saying. I'm going to be messy. We'll talk about that later. But first, let's get to the pressing questions of what is actually going on in Belize. Hold on. Certainly, I am 
relieve that. Oh, side note. I know I keep doing side notes, but baby, you got to hear, let me go off track and let me cook so y'all can put it together. Also pay attention to Shine's accent because yeah, we're going to talk about that too. It's a fake. It's a fraud. He's a politician to his heart. And I don't mean that. I don't mean that in a good way. Let's keep going. Uh, people are saying what the truth is that, you know, I did not uh, shoot um, those people. And while he gained some measure of exoneration, he may lose a financier who's also a billionaire. Barrow has very publicly reconciled with Sean Diddy Combs and worked on some partnership. I am appreciative of whatever contributions uh, Diddy has. Again, he's worked on partnerships with with Diddy. Why is Diddy so much in the Belize? Now, you cannot believe the rumors that Diddy is moving, right? Mess through Belize, but baby, what was he doing? It's not the kindness of his heart, because from what we can believe, he don't got one, but let's keep going. Has made um, to help the people of Belize. I, I wish him well. I pray for him, and I pray for the alleged victims. And, and if, if it is true, may justice be served. If it is not, um, it, it, it's a tragedy because a, a, a global icon um, would have been destroyed. Have you spoken to him to, in solidarity at least? I've been in touch. Is he one of your financiers? He has supported me openly, yes. You know, we have to work with people and in order to maintain that. You see the way, look at him wiping his thing listen y'all didn't see the director's cut these reporters have him stressed they said so he's one of your financiers if you let me tell you about island shit whenever an island man starts speaking low baby they whisper into the devil don't believe a word they say the way he was like yes i mean it's an open secret if an island man starts speaking low, they whisper into the devil, don't believe them. Then he's asking them some more. Shine literally got to wipe his forehead. They got this man stressed. He's sweating like a ho, ho, ho in church. Let's keep going. Productive financing relationship. You have to be on on his team. On. Well, I am on Team Belize. That's what I'm saying. I haven't even, I've gotten a million uh, requests for interviews but I'm not concerned uh, with what is happening in the United States outside of the elected <laughs> officials uh, that I meet with. Certainly someone um, that has uh, been a supporter and has contributed, this, this is not something that I wish to happen to them. But as I said, uh, justice must prevail. But there's a very specific narrative here saying that you he sacrifice your freedom so that he could be free. Yeah. Do you accept that? And if so, do it. I'm sorry. Y'all know I love to watch human body interaction. Let me just rewind it. Because that sigh he gave when he was like, yeah. he This, this reporter is on his ass and he wished to God. He probably wished somebody could pull the fire alarm so he could stop this press briefing. Let's keep going. The narrative here saying that you sacrifice your freedom so that he could be free. Yeah. Did you accept that? And if so doing, did you receive anything in exchange for your long incarceration and long and undeserving in incarceration, you say, because you didn't do it, you say. Mm. Yes, I say, that, that's, you know, that's the Belizean reality. That's the Belizean reality. Now, really quick before we get into the other interview I have, when he basically admits that Diddy paid him a million dollars to keep his mouth shut and then kept contributing to his fund. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think about it? I know we know Shine from the BK, but that would be like, somebody running for president and a foreign country whose leader is embroiled in trafficking blah 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 the feds just ready to go a foreign leader right or a big shot billionaire investing heavily in the american presidency why why did he need that connection with uh belize for again it don't just take it from me Kareem, thank you so much, Valerie, for sending this in. Let me play this for y'all. Kareem Musa, 
stood up in front of the parliament of the people for Belize. He is on the opposition. They are now calling Diddy out completely. Kareem Musa is said, this is the people's house, not P. Diddy's house. They are sick. They know that Shine is bought and paid for with Diddy. Again, everybody looking at Shine like he's some hero. And I'm not saying he's the devil, but maybe he ain't the savior like everybody wants. He is bought and paid for by Diddy. Now, we do have to talk. Diddy like people to take a knee or two to pledge their loyalty, if you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying. Okay, hold on, hold on. Listen to this. Let me know if you guys can hear it or not, because I'm playing it off my phone. I don't got time to splice the video together. Hold on. This is Kareem Musa, the leader of the opposition, when they said we are sick of shine and we are sick of Diddy running this country through his money through shine. Ask yourself what Diddy needs. He don't got that many investments. He only has a house or two. So what did he need everybody on his payroll for? But listen to this. And again, don't forget that this rule that they made that you, if you were convicted of a criminal felony anywhere in the world, you cannot serve as prime minister or the people believes they made this especially for Shine to get him and Diddy out of here. And also don't forget that, um, uh, remember when I said, don't call me crazy, that Shine was trying to get his record expunged with the New York, uh, the district attorney expungement team because he was trying to get it expunged. Why is that? Because he wants to become prime minister. Let's listen to this. The honorable member for Kyle Salt and myself. Can y'all hear this? <laughs> Endured all sorts of attacks and assaults. The member for Belize Rural Central. I don't know if you're, how you're, far your memory go back because... I don't know if you may pay attention from prison, but the, the member from Belize Rural Central was the subject of the harshest of attacks from the then member for uh, Mesopotamia. And nothing from your side. And so you come here with this double speak as you always do. And yes, it can be argued that we all signed up for this. Thank we you, all Kayla. signed up for the hurly burly of politics. Mm -hmm. And I agree with you that we should not be insulting the woman in the honorable house. I want to remind you, you're no longer in that bad boy life, a me member. You're no longer in that bad boy life. And so this, you know, this house, that a people's house, just always remember that. Always remember that we on this side, we want to see you continue as leader. You're going to make it hard for we. Because... You got, you got the member, you say the cross, the floor, I, 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 I nervous now because I said, no man, we need this man to be leader into the next election. So let us continue. We can give you that support, brother, but work with women, work with women. And do the right thing and what apologize. I remember this, you know, P. Diddy House, this is the people's house. Anyway, it was a long say of saying about this. He said at the very end, this house is not, yeah, don't drag me. I'm trying to do Belize in action. This house is not the P. Diddy house. This is Belize house. Shut up. That was a good accent. Anyway, why are they saying that? Oh, my God. This is on WSB TV. Uh, That's why I don't watch the news. They said a South Fulton dad says he put antifreeze in his newborn's milk to not pay child support. What? That's why I stay off the news. That just popped up. I had to share that. Anyway, y'all, why was that? Because they were also giving a warning to him. You need to separate yourself from Diddy. Now, here's the thing, right? Let's get back into this. Because Shine also revealed this. We're going to go to, I think it's a drink. Listen to Shine speaking so, right so now. I'm saying I haven't even, Hold I've on. gotten a million uh, requests for interviews. But I'm not concerned uh, with what is happening in the United States outside of the elected officials uh, that I meet with. Okay, so yeah, let's now remember that accent, and let's just fast forward a little bit, shall we? So Shine, when he says that, and when you're saying like, "Oh my God, maybe they just love each other's like brothers," 
No, because this was on Rhymes with Snitch. This is from August 23rd. I think it's 2000, 2012. Rhymes with Snitch. Let me get to uh, these pictures, right? This is how Shine really felt about what was going on, leading to believe, people to believe that Diddy had, in fact, um, left him out and thrown him under the bus, right? They're saying Shine spent 10 years in prison and was deported back to his native Belize as soon as he released. Oddly enough, Diddy petitioned for Shine later on to get a visa so he could come to the U.S. to open, to literally petition the U.S. Congress and House and whatnot into opening relations with Belize. Again, why the F did he care so much about Belize? This man is selfish, in my opinion. He ain't never done anything for anyone unless it benefited him. Literally. Unless you was get, what is it? Diddy's model is, you ever hear that old saying, ass, grass, or gas? But no, you either pay ass, grass, or gas, but nobody rides for free. That's Diddy's. That's Diddy's uh, logo. Anyway, right? They said in 2012, Shine is lashing out at Diddy for not helping him get back into the U.S. and for not taking care of the family of Anthony Wolf Jones. Shine said, I saved Diddy's life. And Shine, no good deed. Like, you shouldn't have. You should have just let God take over. Maybe Diddy wasn't meant to be here. Honestly. Do you think the Lord and Savior wants a demon rolling around? I don't know. I gave Diddy life. His head was on, was, was on the plate but I pardoned him. Wow. But the only thing this creep understands is fear. He likes to play Russian roulette. How do you repay someone who saved your life? He says, um, he said, if I was a creep, I would have, I, I, I was a creep. I would have deleted myself in a prison cell. 10 years, 10 years, 10 years. I sat for a decade while Holmes was living his life in St. Bart's. I was in hell because he told on me. How can someone be worth half a billion dollars and not take care of the guy that saved his life? Anthony Wolf is the reason Diddy is alive. But Anthony Wolf Jones' moms is struggling in the projects with no support from Diddy. Anthony Wolf Jones' kids ain't got no trust fund. But if it wasn't for Wolf, Diddy would be buried. I did. Uh, uh, I'm a disloyal, ungrateful bootlegger. Uh, that's that ish I don't like. I know for a fact Diddy went to the U.S. government to make sure I was deported. Money and power mean nothing to me. Honor. Honor. And hold on a second. Sorry, y'all. I thought there was ghosts in the house. Uh, my man just walked in and turned the TV on at the room. You know me and spooky self. I'm like, oh, God. Anyway, somebody put in roots and some of the spirits. Anyway, they said money and power mean nothing to me. Honor, integrity, morals, ethics are everything. A man is not measured by his money. Uh, he said a man is not measured by his money. Rather, a man is measured by how he uses his money to better the lives of the sufferers. When I spoke to Diddy, and he was at and Diddy on Twitter. When I spoke to Diddy, he told me he was sorry for everything he did and he would spend the rest of his life correcting his mistake. Ask Anthony Wolf's daughter how she feels about Diddy. Spoiler alert, she don't think Diddy's ish. So again, they weren't butt butters. Diddy abandoned him. He basically left him. And Diddy was the one, according to Shine, they got him deported back to Belize. Let's also not forget that Shine what, the reason him and his mom were even in New York is because Sign was the illegitimate son of the prime minister of Belize that served from 2008 to 2020. They left out of scandal. Shine was deported back from Belize because Shine looked just like his daddy. He got involved in politics. Once Shine got involved in politics and, and years later, when Diddy saw a way to make that Belize Connect work for him, that's when he got back involved in Shine's life. But let's keep going, right? Because we got to hear, and this is what I said, right? And it's just me being petty. We about to get back into the interviews, but let me just be petty for a second, all right? Um, yeah, so Diddy always liked to play 
dress up. And whoever he's dating got to be a bad bee on his arm. And I looked at some old pictures of Diddy and Shine. And they were very much giving Diddy and Cassie. As a matter of fact, did you see old pictures of Diddy and Shine when they were both dressed up? Take Shine out of it and put Cassie's face on it. I'm just saying. I don't want to start any mess. But they was very close. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But it goes to show that maybe Diddy has a modus operandi. But let's keep going, okay? Those are my two guys. Like I okay, so let me, sorry. So this is the thing I was talking about. This is a Drink Champs interview. Just listen to this very closely. Now, I'm going to interrupt and give y'all the director's cut, but just listen. This is for you. Like, forgiveness is not for them. Like, whether I forgive them or not, forgiveness makes me a better person. That's, that's for me. So it's like with, you know, with Diddy, when I... When Diddy has supported me, he's been one of my biggest supporters. Him, Fat Joe. Mm -hmm. Those are my two guys. Right. Like I said, nah. Now, mind you, this Drip Temps interview, I think, was from like two years ago. Now, Diddy, your biggest supporter, went from 2012 to 2000, whatever, you was going in on Diddy because Diddy didn't seem to care whether you lived or died. Again, what did you give Diddy? Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Always reaches out. Fat Joe went to see you in jail, though. But See me in jail. Mm -hmm. I don't Can I just say one thing also? This is what makes me uh, doubt Shine's sincerity about everything. He's not going to be the one to save uh, anybody. Why, when he was talking to the Belize and reporters, he had an accent? Yeah, there's a me. And he was talking that Belize and mess. But now that you're sitting here talking on drink champs, now you sound like you deep from the boogie down. Now you sound like you literally straight from Marcy Projects. Mind you, you, you see what I'm saying? Sean be playing games. He a politician to his heart. But I just noticed the accent change. Like, oh, so you like a, is this what you call code switching? When you believe you talk to your people here, you, you going to talk to like what? The thuggish records ball? Let's keep going. I, I don't know if you came to Belize. Can't forget Busta Rhymes. Mm -hmm. Busta Rhymes, mm -hmm. <clears throat> my brother. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I was just with him, him and Khaled. Khaled is my god. Flip their accents every day. I know that, but they don't do it. Well, if, if you're if that's the way you really speak in Belize, and then you come here, it's insulting. I don't care if you do it every day. This isn't work. This is a casual interview, baby. You flip your accent like black people do. Yes, I know. How are y'all telling a black person you act like a? Yes, I know. We are the inventors of code switching. But my point of the matter is you do it to manipulate somehow. A again, anyway, why am I wasting my time? Let's keep going. To mm -hmm. another supporter for over a decade, mm -hmm. you know, but Buster came to Belize when I got out, um, you know, embraced me. He tried to sign you too, though, right? I think I think that was a no, part of No, no, he okay. was just a brother, you know. Okay. Gave me an Audemars PK. Okay, I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, when I you know, when he came to Belize and just been my brother mm -hmm. through and through, uh, and, and, and Joe, my mm -hmm. brother. But Diddy, in, in, in the most recent years, after we reconciled, you know, once I told him what I was doing in Belize, mm -hmm. became one of my biggest supporters. Right. You know, um, whether it's telling people through his platforms mm -hmm. what I was doing, whether it's, you know, financing mm. what I was doing mm. um, and just giving yeah. me that moral support and that acknowledgement. And then recently they... Can y'all just listen? And ain't no confusion with the timeline. He did this drink temp interview in 2022. <laughs> he spoke about the Diddy stuff just a year, a year and a half hasn't even passed. Why are y'all acting like a little slow? What y'all talking about? Not y'all, but the people that... What y'all talking about? There's confusion. When this interview happened in 2022, okay? Y'all want the exact date? It happened the beginning of 2022. The Belize thing just happened a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago. The tweets happened in 2012. I brought the tweets in to say that they did not have this deep, deep, deep friendship. Diddy got involved. It's every class. Is everybody up to speed? All right, let's keep going. I had tried to, after I got elect elected, pass legislation to disqualify, disqualify me from the House of Representatives. Why? To say that anybody that got convicted of a crime can't be in the House of Representatives. In another country? 
Mm. And, and, you know, Diddy lost it when he heard that. A crime okay, can't be... Y'all are missing something very important that he let out. Can we stop with the code switching? Whatever y'all want, fine. Speak the way y'all want, okay? Y'all missing the forest for the trees. Listen to this part, y'all. And just giving me that moral support Listen. and that acknowledgement. And then recently they had tried to, after I got elect elected, pass legislation to disqualify, disqualify me from the House of Representatives. Why? To say that anybody that got convicted of a crime can't be in the House of Representatives. Mm. In another country? Mm. Yeah. And, and, you know, Diddy lost it when he heard that. Diddy lost it when he heard that. A man that abandoned you, a man that didn't care about Wolf, Wolf's daughter, you, nothing. A man that not until you got power and believes and he saw the way you connected, all of a sudden was like, hold on, and became your biggest campaign benefactor? On top of that, when he heard that Belize said that you couldn't, if you had a felony, do that, Diddy lost it? And he started going to war for you. Why did he care so much if you were actually in the parliament and had power, power in? I'm sorry. And you were the leader of the party. Why did he care so much? Let's keep going. Mm. And he got the revolt people. Mm. He got the publicists. He got everybody. He got revolt people. He got publicists. He got everybody involved. Again, Diddy left Shine for years. And Diddy was the... And Diddy, personally, according to Shine, went and talked to the government to get him deported back and back to Belize. Hain was shined to stay in America, anywhere in America. Do this make sense to anyone? Let's keep going. Mm. He started talking to his legislative friends. Mm -hmm. and he started talking to his legislative friends. Now Shine is exposing the fact that Diddy got legislative friends. Diddy has friends in the American government right now that are so powerful, right? And also he said he started talking to his legislative friends in Belize in Belize. How does Diddy have so many connections in Belize? But we never really see Diddy in Belize. We never hear him talking about Belize. We didn't even see him take young Miami for her birthday to Belize. So again, Diddy, what's your connection? But let's keep going. It's like, you know, we can't let this happen. Mm. You know, this young man changed his life. Changed he's his doing life, great right. things for his people. Right, right. And you know, he's black excellence. Mm. And, and I can't let this happen to my brother. Mm. And, mm -hmm. you know, so he was very instrumental in, you know, when I came here meeting with the legislators in, in Georgia, you know, um, recognition highest regards to uh, Rep. Erica Thomas and, and entire Georgia Entertainment Caucus. Um, didn't I say, listen, I'm not going to talk trash about George, Georgia's legal situation, but Georgia, yeah, okay. Um, I will say that he actually paid for Shine to actually get a visa because, you know, he wasn't allowed being a corrected felon, but he got him a visa to come to Georgia so he could get all these accolades so he could go back to the people of Belize and be like, look, again, I don't know, is Diddy his fa fairy godmother? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Corey Jacobs as well. You know, so, so Puff, you know, to me, totally redeemed himself and is my brother and I love him. And so I don't need to talk to him every day. Mm -hmm. I don't need a million dollars from him. Mm -hmm. You know, the love and the support mm -hmm. in the time of critical need is worth more than a trillion dollars. Right. And, and that's- Again, now, even though Diddy abandoned him for not even the 10 years, but got him deported in six years after. Now the love and support, now listen really quick. He gonna say how much money Diddy ha gave him Okay, and what he continues to do. It's important mm -hmm. because when you expect money from people, when you expect material things from people, mm -hmm. you will always be disappointed. Mm -hmm. What's it called? En en entitlement? I don't know if it's entitlement in yeah. my case because, you know, after 10 years, right. Right. Exactly. you know, uh, mm -hmm. that, right. that's debatable. But right. what I'm saying is right. I, I prefer to say expectation. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Don't expect anything from anyone mm -hmm. and appreciate everything that you know god sends your way mm -hmm. and take it for what it is you know but just hold yourself accountable navigate your path and your journey and life oh god, will be much less complicated right. so yeah, when there are no expectations whatever someone does or contributes mm -hmm. it's, it's just extra. it just enhances right. it's just extra right but you know i got what i got going going right. but that's still my brother 
Right. So my love right. doesn't have a price tag on it. Right. So I don't love you because you know you sent the Maybach to right. Belize for me. Right. Mm. I don't love you because you know you mm. gave me a million dollars for my campaign. Right. I love you because you're my brother. Right. I don't love you because you sent a Maybach for to me in Belize. I don't love you because you gave a million dollars to my campaign fund. Really? Here's why he loves them. And if we talk every day, if we don't, uh, you're my brother. And I okay. I don't love you because you sent, gave me a Maybach. I don't love you because you gave a million. Listen, I don't know it. I don't know. It sounds like a love letter to me, but you know, I'm sure they're just platonic friends. Again, I pulled up some more information from Breaking Blue's news. Diddy applauds Shine's triumph, triumph in Belize politics. Next stop, Prime Minister's office. Diddy became the main cheerleader, the main cheerleader for Shine to become Prime Minister. Wow, you've taken an awful lot of care into this man's life. They said, um, renowned hip hop mogul recently celebrated the rising political trajectory of Shine, who is the leader of the opposition in Belize's House of Reps. Taking to Instagram, he expressed immense pride for Shine, who had faced imprisonment from 2001 to 2009 due to his involvement in the nightclub shooting, out of, out of, out of this, that, and the third. Diddy posted, words can't explain how proud I am, Shine, to witness his incredible transformation from the challenges he faced to becoming a beacon of hope for his nation is nothing short of inspiring. His re-election symbolizes not just a personal victory, but a triumph for hip-hop globally and the resilient people believes. Our, ne our next mission, ensuring my brother becomes the prime minister. I stand by you, believe in you, and I'm incredibly proud of you. Again, Y'all can say I'm talking, but what was he washing for Diddy? What was he moving? Diddy literally, and remember how he Shine actually said you heard it out of his mouth when the op, when they tried to say make that law. Diddy got mad, pulled all his connections, Diddy's connections with Belize, and also Diddy's connections in Atlanta to work together to try to make sure he became prime minister. This is a man that he didn't give a penny to and didn't even care until he had some power again. Remember that video I said, what is going on in Belize? And the, and Diddy, as much as he's literally doing the Diddy bop uh, oh, oh, on that dock, looking like he like, I get high, 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 right? As much as he's doing that, um, at the end of the day, literally, he be looking like, hi. <laughs> at the end of the day, Diddy need to be worried about if the feds know what's going on in Belize and what's happening in Belize. And something tells me that since they're looking at those flight logs, they are looking at it. Um, listen, uh, da -da 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 -da. he said, and then in the drink champ interview, I'm going to fast forward past all that because it's a long one. He said, initially, I bore resentment against Diddy thinking he was the reason, the prime reason behind the fallout. However, in hindsight, it was more about the lawyers who misguided Diddy in pursuit of a not guilty verdict. Okay. Diddy once told me, I'm sorry, man. I shouldn't have listened to the lawyers. The lawyer said to blame you and you believed it. All right, man. Um, while it took time, I forgave him. Though my feelings swayed back and forth for a while, especially when the wounds were fresh. But that was a different time, and today we're in a better place. I know he is, baby. He's sending Maybox to his boo. He Listen, that million dollars to his fund, that was just the beginning. I found a little bit more evidence I want to show y'all. And again, Diddy maintains his innocence. He has not been formally uh, charged or convicted with any crime. He is facing accusations in civil court. The evidence will come out in discovery, but he is facing accusations in civil court. He maintains his innocence. He is fighting for everything, okay? Do not believe what I say. I am not anybody. Go do your own research and then come back and let me know what you think in the comments. But let me show you what I found, okay? Um, and what I think. Anyway, Diddy was going crazy. The fact that he was acting like shine uh, uh, becoming prime minister, I'm sorry, the leader of the opposition in Belize was his victory. Look like some, I don't know. Listen, y'all saw season one of Narcos. What y'all think? Again, I don't think this can be ignored. Also, 
and this is something interesting. I'm doing research on this and I don't want to drag anybody's name into it um, without further thing, but I found some very interesting things, right? There's, if you Google Jay-Z and Belize, right? There's once Diddy got involved in what was going on in Belize. And don't forget, Diddy got a lot of shell companies. Diddy got a lot of companies that aren't in his name, but are in his name, right? Let's also not forget, Jay-Z got business with Diddy. Jay-Z, when Diddy started frequenting Belize, uh, they were there down there together. They were frequenting Belize a lot. Now, maybe because it's hip-hop connections. I don't know. But I thought this was very, very odd. Also, Kanye started spending a lot of time with Belize. Let's also not forget that at one point, Diddy, Diddy, Kanye, and Jay-Z were thick as thieves. As much as I like Kanye, as much as I like Jay-Z, as much as I like anyone, I got to wonder if all these things are true about Diddy. How was all this mess going on and y'all were hanging out at parties and partying all the time and y'all, what? Again, even the way Diddy started bringing people down to Belize, showing them the business that he had down in Belize, the business he never talks about. How could all this stuff be going on and none of y'all know this? Because y'all were tight. Not a little tight, but tight. Y'all stayed for the after party. Again, has anything formally come out? Absolutely not. Jay-Z and Diddy literally could have been like three blind mice, three blind, what, what? Like acting like Helen Keller. What, where, where am I? Belize, what country is that? They could have been on some three blind mice stuff. I just find it odd that when the Belize gates open and when Diddy got his hooks back in the shine, all of a sudden everybody coming down, showing business and showing this and showing that again, uh, could this be why the federal investigation is actually taking uh, uh, so long? You know, could it be? Kanye even was doing videos about, I love Belize. I love it here. They want to do business here. They want to say it again. Diddy opened the door and showed. But as much as they got all these business ties in Belize, nobody's really down there. So what's the business y'all have in Belize? And Diddy is the king of promoting all his businesses. So why is the business you got down in Belize? They keep your private plane busy. They keep this and that. Why is that such a secret, Diddy? I want to know. Do you not know? This is what Ding I said. That oh, global exclusive. This young man. I ruined my you own bill. Hold right. on. Hold yourself. I got what I got. You're my brother. Right. This is, I've ruined my whole damn reveal. Hold on. So Jay-Z, right? Vacation was, at that time, was vacationing a lot in Belize with Diddy. So was Kanye. We all know wherever Diddy go, a freak all follow. I don't know if there were freak offs in Belize, but I don't know, according to uh, the opposition in Belize, it's not P. Diddy's house. It's the people's house. And Chai needs to remember that. They trying to support him. They know he can do a good job. But baby, you need to realize. And this was his own people saying. You need to realize this ain't P. Diddy's house. This is Belize. This is the people's house. Let's keep going. This is when I said, oh, good, great. Googly moogly. Oh, we got there in the water. Wait in the waters. Wade in the waters. Who we got wading in the waters? If you zoom in, who these Ninja Turtles look like? We got Ye. We got Diddy. We got Shine that look like Swiss Beats or Jonathan Adi with a tan. But definitely, and we got Jay Prince in the water. Now, y'all, we ain't even going to get down the Jay Prince rabbit hole because I might have to step foot in Texas. My whole point is, if you know, you know. <laughs> Shout out to J-Lo and her orange drink. A bag of ham and cheese, a bag of chips, and an orange drink. If you know, you know. Again, Jay Prince, now going down to Belize to do business with it. What was going on? A lot of things was being washed. And I'm not talking about, and I'm not talking about sandals. Anyway, Tatiana, thank you so much. Tatiana Cauldron. I'm almost done with my PowerPoint presentation, but let me just say uh, what's up to all these people. Tatiana Cauldron, thank you so much for becoming a member. P, thank you so much for the super sticker. Dr. Payne Nestor said, hi, beautiful. It's Taurus season. What sign is Diddy? Diddy is a Scorpio, but you know what? Hold on really quick. What, what is 
Diddy's Zodiac chart. Okay, so his sun sign is Scorpio. What is Diddy's Zodiac chart? Top three. I ain't reading his whole chart. So he's a Scorpio. Uh, his big three are Scorpio. He has a Venus in Libra, a Mars in Capricorn. Okay. What's his sun? We want his moon. Ziddy's Zodiac chart moon. Okay. His moon sign is... Oh, okay. Okay. So he is a Scorpio sun, a Virgo moon, and I think a Libra rising. That's... I don't know. If you see that chart, mm -hmm. run. That's all I'm saying. If you don't believe in Zodiac, then proceed to Joe. But if you do, Scorpio, uh, Sun, a Virgo, Moon, and a Libra rising, that's so odd. I would think that Libras would be more gentle and Virgos would be, well, Virgos can be very clinical. Hmm. Anyway, there you go, Dr. Payne. And, and shout out to Taurus season. Uh, Dory Angel, you said, I love it here, Tisa. I found my fa my <laughs> fellow Tattlers, my fave plays. Welcome, 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 mama. Welcome to the fam. You know we all love it. Randy C said, let's hit the like button for our girl, Tisa. Can y'all hit that like button on this good Sunday? Legendary, legendary uh, legend says, on his knees and believes, honey. I know that's right. And thank you, Randy and legendary legend, so much for the super chats. Blue Ray of Sunset said, you, my dear, are awesome. Thank you, Blue Ray, and thank you for the super chat. Little Jay said, we're going to get back into my PowerPoint presentation in a second, said, I'll be in Belize smoking trees when they find me. Uh, Biggie Smalls, you know what? Did I? Did y'all listen to that live where I went over some of Biggie's lyrics? I think Biggie might have been the first chat. Uh, anyway, thank you, Lil J, for the super chat. B, what's up, Mama? You said 5.3K watching, only a thousand likes. Hit that like button to help this channel grow. You know, what? let me see if y'all hitting this like button. Because I swear to God, I will shut this live down right now. Y'all gonna stop playing with me? I'm just joking. Y'all know I ain't going anywhere, but. I felt good to say. Um, I can't quit you guys. Oh, that's pretty good. I have 2,520 likes. Thank you guys for everybody that took the second to hit the like button. If you guys want, if you're in the live chat, you just hit the X button on the live chat. Just X out and then hit the like button. And then you can go back into the live chat. Just in case you guys don't know how YouTube looks. I, you know, I figured it's because you guys don't know where to find the like button, not because you refuse to hit the like button. Anyway, Melanie Queen, thank you so much, B. Melon and Queen said, for this man to have his cheeks clapped up for 10 years for something he didn't do and then remain calm upon release is very sus, especially when Diddy was free. <laughs> exactly. Vita said, OT Gen Genesis is Belizean. Oh, is it really? He's the one that goes, I'm in love with the cocoa. Whip it, whip it. Real good. Oh, I did not know. Well, that makes sense. Little Jay said, uh, Tisa's starting a whole diaspora war. Just kidding. Much love. Yo, I stay away from the diaspora wars. People be going like into town. And you know, with my mouth, I'll rep my set. So I just stay out of diaspora wars until, you know, people start talking about black Americans. And then, you know, I got to start windmilling on fools. So yes, let's, let's keep the diaspora world. Let's do one love. Okay. Don't nobody say no stuff is stupid. We can all just get along. All right. Really quick. Um, B, thank you so much for the super sticker. Vita, thank you so much for becoming a member and everybody give a shout out and love to be the best moderator in the world. Hey, Jonas Bolina. You said, hi, Tisa, what do you think of Ellen DeGeneres? Some stuff is coming out about her. Her ex, her ex's uh, mysterious is death. Are you talking about Anne Hedge and her friendship with Diddy? Listen, I had to research that. I know for a long time people said that Ellen is very, very nasty and just a mean person. I think she even got sued for that. But I have to actually look into that connection because I do remember her ex when they said that she was DOA and you see her sitting up on the casket after like, that was weird. Jonas, um, Jonas uh, Boalina, but I'll look into that, Jonas. 
Thank you so much for becoming a member. And Jonas, I'll look into the uh, the Ellen DeGeneres Anne Hathaway. LaVon White, thank you so much for becoming a member. And Sonia Tremino, thank you so much for the super sticker. Uh, who's this? Lavini Williams, one, two, three, four. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Love that cute smile. Kita G said, love your commentary. And thank you, Miss Kita. I appreciate it. Marlene says, Hey mama, there's a crazy blind item, a ditty. Uh, tis, do you know, do you know about crazy Danes and nights podcast? Uh, so, so, so some rewards for talking. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you know crazy day? Okay. Oh, so I do know crazy days and nights. I did not know they had a podcast, but you're saying for shine, this must've been shines rewards for taking the fall. Oh, uh, that makes sense. And that's what I think. Taking the fall for Diddy, I don't even think that was his reward because I don't. Th I think he screwed him over. Diddy know a lot of pe old people money. I think he planned to screw him over. I think it wasn't until Shine actually got power in Belize and Diddy saw how he could like kind of throw his money around. I think that's when he started uh, going in for Shine. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that's what happened. But thank you, Marlene. Crystal Cove, thank you so much for uh, the super chat. And you also said, I wonder if Shine is really in with Diddy or did he quietly reach out to the feds because he's still holding a grudge and trying to get him out of jail. Here's what I think. In that first video, not this one, but in the first video when Shine said, like the victim said, I thought found it was interesting. This was a different video. I found it interesting that Shine actually did say. Um, so you know what? At my heart goes out to the victims. This is true. And if it's not true, it's a very political answer. But he said something interesting. He said, and I want to thank him for everything he did for the people of Belize. But that doesn't have anything to do with us. To me, that's when it confirmed what I was hearing, that Fed Shine is cooperating with the feds. There is no way in the world after doing 10 years that Shine is going to take the fall for Diddy, especially if he's letting Diddy move weight people and God knows what else to that country. There ain't no MF and way he would do that. Diddy don't got enough money in the world for that. There's just no way in my mind, I don't think. But thank you so much for being a member for four months, Crystal. Derricka Johnson, thank you for becoming a member. Cynthia said, hey, hey, Cynthia. Cynthia says, hi, t everyone. Everyone say, hey, Cynthia. Tonya Scott, thank you so much for uh, the super sticker. Appreciate it, Tonya. And Aram says, hey, Tisa, there are dark sides to every zodiac sign up to the person. True, to work on themselves, they may embody the dark or the good. That is so true. It, it, it's true because it's true, right? I've met some solid Scorpios, Virgos, Libras, you know? Yeah, you're right. Okay, so. Jay Prince is out there in that piece. Actually, let's get back to the PowerPoint presentation. Ask yourself why Jay P Prince is out in this piece. I ask of you, right? The hold on. I ask of you. One second. One second, B. I'm coming. The house is full. Let me slow this down. But let's also not forget this. Diddy also posted another thing like a proud papa, right? A proud papa saying, um. I'm sorry, guys. Y'all know me. Distracted. What is this? Oh, did he also posted this like a proud papa uh, with shine when he won? Look at that. Giving lovers shout outs like I'm so proud of this man, proud of this, proud of that. Did he shut up and have a seat again? It makes you wonder what's going on. He said, I'm so proud of my brother's shine and the journey he's on. He's running for the House of Representatives and needs your support. Bad boy for life. Can somebody explain to me how an American rapper can suck? Can, if there are people in Belize in the chat, let me know. Do Diddy's way? I don't know. It's, it, is Diddy, is an American rapper telling you to vote for your House of Representatives in Belize? Is that going to swing the election? Again, I think he was in Diddy's pocket. I think he was always in Diddy's pocket. And I think as he got into the political field, you know, Diddy probably saw he could use them in some way. And as he grew power, 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 he started dumping more and more money into him. You know what I'm saying? Also, uh, really quick. Uh, Scorpio for life said, I wonder if Diddy and Ellen have anything to do with Twitch being deleted. Now that's some deep mess. I actually really have to look into that. 
Because again, a year ago, I would have been like, oh my God, stop y'all doing too much. But now, I don't know, everything's starting to look real suspect to me. Everything. Let's also not forget that Diddy, right? Let's also not forget that Diddy also um, started a scholarship. The opposition leader, Honor, Dr. Shine Burrow presents the Sean Diddy Combs Belize Full Scholarship to Howard University. He also started a, a, a scholarship fund for people of Belize to come to Howard, which on its own seemed really noble. But now it seems like Diddy just wanted to have a whole country a whole country in his pocket. Real quick why guys have you. I made two thumbnails. I'm going to do a little A-B testing with you guys. What thumbnail do you guys like better? Look at the screen. This one that says Diddy's Belize Connection Exposed. Of course, there's Diddy, Shine, and Jay-Z. Take a look at that, right? And then the second hit one, if you like this one, the second one is this one. What really happened in Belize? Same people, same look, different words. Do you guys what do you guys like what really happened in Belize? Hit two if you like that. Um, and then hit one if you guys like this one. It's the exact same thumbnail. Diddy's Belize connection exposed. It's the exact same thumbnail, but different words. Hit one for Belize connection exposed, hit two for uh what really happened in Belize. Okay, you guys like two? Oh, some people like one. Two, 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 two. You guys like two. So this is the one you guys like. What really happened in Belize? Is that the one y'all like? I love doing A-B testing. Y'all be helping me grow my platform. I'm very, very grateful for you guys. So yeah, you guys, listen. I'm not telling you guys what to think. Far be it from me to tell y'all what to think. Far be it from me to say that Diddy is involved in some deep shit in Belize and Shine was his fall guy back then and baby, he's his fall guy now. Far be it for me to suggest, do your own research, but I wanted to bring to y'all what I actually, I wanted to bring y'all what I actually discovered. Jay in the six said, shy busting accents open like Diddy busting <laughs> blank open. Let's not talk about I got accents. I don't want to start the diaspora wars. I don't want to start. Y'all know I be windmilling for my set. I don't want to offend anybody because you know every time that starts, somebody say something slick out their mouth and then we all got to rep our sets, baby. We all got to rep our sets. Since Zia said this, any more info on TJ Jakes? Just wondering. So listen, I'm looking into the TJ Jakes stuff, but um, a lot of people that are deep in the church told me that TJ Jakes actually stepped down last year and they said it's very common for church leaders to step down in the way that TJ Jakes did you know what I'm saying? So I'm I don't because like people have said TG Jakes have done great things for them, really helped them. My girlfriend Pro Pam was telling me that like all this stuff. So before I speak on the church because it is such a sensitive topic, I want to really make sure that it's not something sensationalized and that it actually is making sense. But baby, if he did something, you know we go and expose it. But until we actually know what that is and what the relevance is, I've just been talking to a lot of people in the church being like, but what is the relevance? Is this something weird? Does it happen? And a lot of church people are just like, no, this happens all the time. It was normal. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm digging, digging, digging to see what else I can find, Cynthia. But y'all know that if I find anything, y'all know if I find anything, you're going to be, the, I'm going to be the first to run and tell y'all, y'all know me. I'm going to be the first, right? Um, I'm going to be the first. Listen, that's okay. So diamond, thank you so much. Where's that at diamond? Where'd you just go? So diamond eyes. That's what I heard. TD Jake stepped down because of what his daughter did. Um, he's actually, yeah, you need to Google TJ Jake's daughter and the scandal on adopted children. They say they did nothing wrong, but baby, the internet says different. All right, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. Li Did he like him young, wild, and free? Definitely like him young, wrong, wild, and free, uh, free, you know? Um, so yeah. So, but in any case, um, yeah, the mess that happened with TG Jakes and yeah, 
Um, Miss to Calde. Miss to Calde, thank you so much for the super sticker. SON, what's up, son? Uh, thank you so much for the sticker, super sticker too. Miss to Calde. Miss to Calde. Thank you so, or is it Calde? Calde? Calde. Thank you so much for the super stickers. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this little thing. Listen, um, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Thank you so much for joining. Y'all hit the like button on your way out. I'll be live two times tomorrow. And yeah, listen, we're not having a day as for wars. Let's love each other. Let's gang up and let's pull these mofos down. Because baby, as you can see, Rome is falling. So it's time to build a new empire, baby. All positions will be open. Nia, thank you so much for becoming a member. Oh, for being a member for three months. Thank you, Nia. Thank you so much. Everybody enjoy the rest of the Sunday. I'll be live two times tomorrow. Make sure you turn your notifications on and make sure you, um, yeah, turn your notifications on. You're going to have to subscribe to turn your notifications on. Oh, last thing. P said, what about one of the Diddler's sons going to church? Well, they were deep in the church, but you know what? We're going to save that for a different thing. Because like I said, I'm doing more research to actually see what the connection to Diddy is. You know what I'm saying? I don't just want to be talking. I mean, y'all know I'll talk just to talk. But I wanted something just different to add to the conversations because so many people like Tough News and all these, they've done so much to actually move the conversation forward as what's going on with TD Jakes. I wanted to make sure I could actually add something good to the conversation. You know what I'm saying? You know, like somebody else already covered it really well. It's like, what else is there left to be said? I want to be able to add to the conversation, you know, just add it. S-O-N, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate that. So don't forget, turn the lives on. Um, and yeah, all right. Talk to y'all later. Talk to y'all later. Oh, really quick. Glow Right, thank you so much for the super chat. We have a last minute entry. Thank you, Glow Right, for the super chat. I really, really appreciate it. All right, y'all. Now I'm really out. Now that Glow Right done me right. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, let me see. Okay, now I'm